really tough. I can tell you this, Mark went on, graduated college, we got to know each other, we did a job at ESPN research, he worked at ESPN for quite a while, and then cancer, as Mark can tell you, sometimes, and I'll share this with you, I got a letter from Mark, and I called him right away after I got a letter, I said, man, why don't you talk about that? He said, did you cancer me? He said, yeah, I did. He said, because I can't live the life like people. I can't do what I want to do. All the chemo has torn me to shreds. It has taken so much away. I can't, my legs, my, anyone on, I mean, we kept trying to encourage a mother. Mark got married, married a beautiful girl, Kelly Williams here. I went to their wedding in South Carolina, my wife and I. So proud. And he's been going through a tough time in that. But if Mark from research, as he's told me here today, wasn't research yet, I'm a long guy. He wanted to say a couple more, so here, Mark. I want this to be Yeah, I, I was 16 when I got uh, diagnosed, and they uh, told me, uh, they told my parents, they told me, yeah, uh, yeah, six months later, we have terminal cancer. Uh, I was at school Kettering, uh, this is back in 1990, so it was, it was basically a death sentence. And they, um, Put me on a real new protocol. It was, uh, you know, it was basically a guinea pig. And I was the second person to ever get a bone marrow transplant. And that really saved my life because it was uh, so revolutionary. Uh, all the things that hit to me really it took a, a toll on my body um, to where, you know, I'm frozen disease now and suffering from hemochromatosis and some other things. But I'm, I'm alive. And basically, like, uh, sometimes it's hard to, to get through some certain days. But, um, I'm doing a lot better now as the times go on. If new medicines come out, I, you know, um, I eat better and stuff like that. But that's what helped me is the research um, that they put into my my diagnosis and and, and uh, my bone marrow transplant. And then uh, when the B Foundation started a couple of years later, and all the money they've been able to raise. And so now when people um, get my diagnosis, which they then change to rhabdomyosarcoma, which is still very rare and very hard for for a lot of kids to, to be. Um, it's it's a, a lot more hope for these kids. So that's why we're here today, because as a 16 year old kid, I was told I wasn't going to be able to do any more of Now we're going to be able to live. I had last rights uh, telling me two times. But because of the money that you raise from events like this, because of people like him, who's an Ethan agent, I swear to God, I've never met anybody like him in my life. Anything I've ever asked him for, the second I ask him, it's dumb. It's amazing. And all the other people I work with at ESPN have been incredibly blessed. I have a beautiful wife, I have wonderful parents. And it's all because of the money we raise and the things that you guys do. That's how this is so important because the money and research that goes into, because this is, a, I, I hate this disease. And so I'll say words that I can't repeat when I hear kids that get sick and they're suffering and they're seeing the fall and stuff, either out of high school, they don't know anything but pain and suffering from the day they're born. So I just know how important it is. And you give your money and that you um, create an environment that people can survive. So thank you for this chance to talk to you.